Hey guys, John here, Vapor Honing Technology today. I want to talk to you about vapor honing, removing blemishes and burrs on parts, specifically smaller burrs and smaller blemishes. My rule here uh, to answer this question or to help you answer this question has always been if I can pick my fingernail into a blemish or into a burr, then I probably cannot remove that. If it is that deep or that big, I'm probably not gonna be able to remove that. Now, on the burr side, burrs can be small or large. It depends how thick they are. So let's talk about CNC machined parts. If you have, um, let's say, a really thin lip of material, 6061, for example, and it's a really thin burr, maybe it's a taller burr, you'll have a really good chance of removing that as long as it's not a very thick burr. If you can gently roll that burr over, as in you were doing a manual deburring process, then more than likely we will have a good chance at removing that for you. But if it's a blemish, for example, a blemish on this table would be a good example, but if you can stick your fingernail in that blemish and it will catch your fingernail, more chance than not, you will not be able to remove that because that would mean that we would have to remove excess amounts of material. So it has to be light blemishes, for example, toolpath marks on a CNC machine. Those have to be light blemishes. They can't be deep gouges, um, specifically where maybe something was misprogrammed. Um, that can't happen. We're, we're a magic maker process, but we're not that magical in that we're not taking that much material off. And that's what people love about the vapor owning process. So hopefully it helps you a little bit. Um, I know it's a very tricky, complex subject, and it does, however, it does uh, come down to a case-by-case -case basis a lot of times, but that's where the sales team's here to do free trial parts processing for you. So they will process your parts for free, and they will help you come up with a conclusion and a process that fits best for you. Hopefully this helps. If you have questions, call or email the sales team. As always, thanks for watching.